So I know, I'm sure you've looked at your event programs to see we have six exciting sessions for you. Um, I'm going to introduce the first set of people and then run away because the rest of them are just going to come to it themselves. Uh, our first session is around branding and what's changing in that sphere. Uh, I met Kevin first time, and the first time I met him, he tried to explain to me a concept called love marks. I used to work for a stodgy mobile company, and I couldn't quite get it. Uh, but hopefully Kevin can come and share with us what love marks is, and he's got with him, lots of exciting people. James, uh, who's scared that he might turn into a phone company soon, tells me Sky was the, the fastest growing broadband business last quarter. And of course, Sir Martin Sorrell, who's very kind and always joins at the Zeitgeist. He even has a new word for us called frenemy. But uh, I've got a better one. you've got a better one, okay. But I, I have to tell you, I have to tell you how I keep myself calm. Every time you say frenemy, I think like it's an American accent. He's saying he, Nikesh is a friend of me. So <laughs> I keep saying that to myself and don't get agitated. So with that. Uh, and we have other people here, Robin Harper and Olive Goodgins from Mercedes-Benz. So is uh, Mercedes-Benz not Daimler Chrysler anymore? Soon? It's Daimler. It's Daimler now. Okay, fantastic. Well, with that, Kevin, the stage is all yours. Well, I guess that was worth the price of entry already to see that brilliant handling of a question. He gets the toughest, curliest question I've ever seen, and he throws it back to the person who asked it. That was absolutely brilliant. Inspirational start. I, fantastic. I learned that. I was uh, with Google in New York in September, and this is the first time I've ever been asked back. So Nikesh, thank you very, very much indeed. They asked me to be the uh, panel moderator because they thought I could do least damage in this spot. Okay, we're going to prove them wrong. So today we've got a uh, very distinguished panel. Okay, you've already heard it. They're going to do about 20 minutes each. Um, that will be a miracle if we can get them off in 20 minutes, but we'll do our best. And then there'll be a 30-minute Q&A where you can all line up, take pot shots about why TV content's so crap and all the kind of stuff you really want to ask. Okay, so the superstars we've got, we've got one shocking overachiever. We've got a rebel with a cause. We've got a fun and games goddess. So that should give you a clue. And then we've got a dream merchant. The topic I was given was branding today and tomorrow. So we start with a huge problem because branding is very yesterday. Tomorrow's already here, and I haven't got a clue about what's going to happen next week, let alone next year. So it's going to be quite challenging. What I do know is that for any of the baby, my fellow baby boomers in the audience, we got it right all along. In the 60s, power to the people. We got distracted, right, on the way by a couple of other things. But if we'd have stayed focused, then uh, we were right. The consumer is boss. Power has switched from manufacturers through to retailers to the consumer. David talks about the ICANN generation. Lafley talks about the consumer in boss. So our challenge today is to stimulate discussion on what that means for all of us going forward. Because giving up control, giving up control to networks, giving up control from directors to connectors is easy to talk about. Everybody's yapping about it. Very few people have any idea where that's going or what it can mean. And it's quite a challenge. I live in New Zealand, and we have a particular way of dealing with challenge in my country. And here's how we do it.
Lewis, a new hacker for the All Blacks. That's the Southern Hemisphere version of Zeitgeist. So to set the scene for the distinguished panel, this is where we're rocketing. We've, you know, the information age is dead, buried. The age of knowledge is gone. These are table stakes now. You know, there are not sources of competitive advantage. In fact, knowing how to escape information overload and how to use it with velocity is what's going to give you uh, ultimate victory. Interruption marketing is dead. You know that. Permission marketing. Experience marketing, these are all yesterday. The attention economy is dead and buried. You know, you cannot interrupt and demand attention. You can't yell at people. As David Ogilvy said, the consumer is not a moron. She's your wife. And we cannot keep on yelling at her. We've moved into the attraction economy. It is all about engagement. It is all about emotional connectivity. We've moved from interruption to engagement, which is very difficult for marketing managers and for people to give up control. The brand is no longer boss. We must engage, draw in, invite, excite, stimulate. None of the words that you ever see in the MBA programs you study. We've moved from transactions to relationships. Transactions are of no interest really going forward. They are commodified. Transactions are commodified. We've moved from brands to love marks. It doesn't Love marks are brands like Google that create loyalty beyond reason, beyond price, beyond attribute, beyond promise, beyond performance. Those are table stakes. You've got to deliver those, but there's more. You've got to deliver loyalty beyond reason. You've got to move from being irreplaceable, which is tough enough, to becoming irresistible. How do you become irresistible? Um, Sarkozy Royale battle that you talked about was an irresistible battle. You had to take a point of view. You had to take a position because the alternative was horrendous, if you, you know, depending which way you were thinking about it. Marketing has moved. Everybody knows mass marketing's dead. One too many. It doesn't work, thank goodness. Great news for advertisers, great news for creative people because it means now we have to move from many to one. I show you that not to warn you about tonight <laughs> or to screw up your Saturdays, but we made that available on the internet in New Zealand and uh, 400,000 kids' parents downloaded that in a population of 4 million and they shipped it to their friends. The power of that endorsement, the power of viral, within 10 days we had a 30% increase in calls to Care New Zealand asking for help. The power of the internet, the power of interactivity. We've moved from reactive to interactive, um, all in five years, less, three years, all media, all media will be interactive because the consumer is demanding that involvement. ROI, it's the wrong question, return on investment. The right question is return on involvement. The people who can figure out how to measure emotional involvement, how to measure the benefits of involvement, how to predict it and to value it, will be the people that win. Measure the new ROI, you're a billionaire. Heavy users are not where the answer is today. 
it's about inspirational consumers, the people that will talk, the people who are viral, the people that will recommend, the people that will be your champion, your advocate. We're moving away from big promises to intimate gestures. Consumers are tired of being promised. They know, you know that uh, dandruff shampoos get rid of dandruff. They know that moisturizers make you look younger. They know that beer tastes good and gets you pissed, you know? Unless you live in America like me. But generally speaking, you know, they know these kinds of things. And we're moving at marketing at people to connecting with people. And if you watch TV last night, 90% of the ads on there were still yelling, screaming about functions, price, promises, and they were not connecting at all.